Hi everybody. I'm going to demonstrate for you today how to create a silhouette using contrasting colors and the media we'll be using is watercolor pencils. I'm going to go through the first few steps on how to set up for your contrasting silhouette. First off, you're going to have to make a decision about contrasting colors. Now remember, contrasting colors are opposites on the color wheel. You'll see that I chose blue and orange for my contrasting colors. You're also going to need, for your watercolor pencil, you're going to need a neutral white to help you out with the blending. Because if we were to blend blue and orange together, you get sort of like a funny looking color. So I'm going to start applying my watercolor pencil to my contour drawing that I've outlined in Sharpie. I'm going to use the white color pencil to distinguish between where I'm going to have my blue and my orange meet. So you'll see I'm sort of going like in the middle of the sky here. Don't worry about going over the Sharpie and don't worry about going into what's eventually going to be blacked out. You can always touch it up when we get to that point. Now you might notice that I'm going in a little bit of a curving fashion because I want to have the effect that this is either sunrise or sunset. So I want to have it like curving around the horizon and it sort of mimics those little mountains or hills that I also have there. Now I'm going to take my orange watercolor pencil and I'm going to start adding the pigment. Now it's just like a regular color pencil but you're going to notice that it's a lot more creamy and they break a lot easier. Again I'm doing a little bit of a curving motion and you'll see that I'm having absolutely no regard for my outline because that's going to be silhouetted in black sharpie anyway in the end. So it doesn't matter that I'm kind of going over the lines. I'm just adding my orange pretty consistently in that slightly curving fashion. Okay, now I'm just going to take the white one more time and I'm going to layer the white into, you're probably not going to see this in your sketchbook, and I'm using loose paper um, because it's easier for demonstration. This will be in your sketchbook, of course. You probably won't see it show up until it touches the Sharpie, and then you'll see it leaves a little white residue. That's normal. Now I'm going to take my blue, and I'm going to go above where I had my white, and I'm going to add my blue. And again, you're going to notice, I'm leaving a little white space there from where the white pigment was added. You're gonna, <coughs> excuse me, you're going to notice that I'm going totally over my black outline. Not a problem. And I'm just going to continue this slightly curving. When I turn it into watercolors, when I activate it, it I can also give that effect that it's in a curving motion. If you need to sharpen your pencil at any point because it's getting dull, you know, of course you can. You can use a regular sharpener for this. Now, this is going to be the most basic contrasting color silhouette start. I have my orange and I have my blue. I've got my common area, which is white, so that my colors don't blend together and look like a weird brown. This is the most basic color contrast. I'm going to show you how to do a more sophisticated one, which entails bringing in two other colors. So I'm bringing my color wheel back in for you to look at. Now I'm also going to add purple and yellow, which are also contrasting colors, opposites on the color wheel, but I'm not going to add them completely. I'm going to take my purple and I'm going to add it just on the top of my blue. So now I have more sophisticated, more advanced value. So this would be a more advanced step. You'll see that I'm layering the purple on top of my blue base. Okay. Now the reason why I chose blue um, and orange is because it's fun to add two other complements to it and in order to create purple you need blue red and blue make purple so that's why I'm able to layer the blue as well as the purple now I'm taking my my yellow and I'm gonna go back towards my horizon over that little hill and again I'm using a color that helps make orange so I'm ensured that it's going to match or be analogous so you'll see I'm not adding it totally everywhere. I'm doing it almost like halfway so that I have some value. Variation in light and dark of similar or analogous colors. Okay, so let's try this out and then I'll do a demonstration on how to activate the watercolor uh, pencils. Thank you so much for your time.